How's it going, everyone? Welcome to a new series that I'm starting. It's actually inspired by MSTZ Bootman. If you haven't seen his channel, he's putting out great Marvel Snap content. I'll put a link in the description. Check his channel out. His channel's blown up from, I don't know, 700 subscribers to like over 5,000 in the last three weeks. So check him out if you haven't seen his channel. Anyways, Bootman has a series where he does deck checks for decks that other creators claim will get you to infinite. I've been getting pretty bored of how the meta is. I'm hoping that changes with the new card tomorrow, but I just wanted to try different decks that aren't your cookie cutter meta decks, something creative that other creators have made. Maybe they do a spin on, on the meta decks or just a new win condition altogether. Not looking for anything that's super competitive, but just stuff that's fun that I can try out and share with you guys. So that's the idea of this series. I don't know if I'm gonna try to push for infinite next season. If it's anything like this season, I'm gonna get bored of it very quickly. So I wanna kinda explore what else this game has to offer. Now, because this is inspired by Bootman, what better way to start it off than with his infamous Majantris deck? He made it uh, on his own, as far as I know, he's been testing it. Uh, I've tried two different versions with it. I'll go over that when I go over the deck. But as usual, before we get started, if you love all things Marvel Snap and you love video games, make sure you like and subscribe, hit the bell. Let's get to the deck list. Okay, so this deck, when I first looked at it, uh, honestly, I could not figure out the win condition. But after giving it a try, it's a very like counter your opponent's deck kind of a deck and then win the locations that you can. It's got kind of like a, an early destroy package in there uh, with Black Widow. He actually ran Angela originally instead of Black Widow. I've tried both. I like Black Widow better right now. It kind of gives you a, a target to hit with Carnage. With Angela, it always felt bad eating her with Carnage. So Black Widow lets you do that and causes some disruption for your opponent's deck. Obviously, it has Hood, Nova, Black Widow, Mysterio, all Carnage targets. It's got Bishop, which is actually going to be one of your bigger cards by the end. Uh, a lot of the times you're going to save Mysterio to play after you play Bishop on turn three. So a lot of times your, your kind of main early game curve is going to look like Hood into Black Widow, into Bishop, and then into Mysterio and Carnage on turn four. And then turn five, you're looking to Magic, Magentress. And then turn six and turn seven, you're looking to use Shang-Chi, Enchantress, Killmonger, uh, all to kind of counter your opponent's deck and kind of counter what they're doing and then use Crossbones, Captain Marvel to win a couple of locations. I thought this deck was really interesting. Most decks that I play, you know, Wong, Patriot, um, the Silver Surfer decks, they have very clear, this is what you're trying to do on your turns, your late turns. Uh, a very clear path that the deck is trying to go. And I found that with this deck, you don't have a clear path. You have some idea of kind of what you want to do, but a lot of it is reacting to what your opponent does and countering what they do and then and then just kind of figuring it out along the way i've just kind of been winning games with it was that like rank 100 i think i've climbed to like 104 in the last couple hours and i really like the deck so i wanted to show you guys i'll play a couple games show you how it kind of plays out uh my thought process while playing it hope you enjoy it again check out bootman's channel he does some great content let's get to the games okay i wonder if mysterio left into carnage left works for science? For science. Let's try it. I actually probably shouldn't have like played Mysterio actually on left. But we're here now, aren't we? So Nova Carnage or Hood Carnage? I think Hood into Carnage and then we can Nova Killmonger next turn. And then possibly Magic. Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll see. Electro. That is a lot of extra energy. Let's 
So Nova Killmonger. Then we can Captain Marvel left. Try to win that way. He's gonna have three turns where he drops six drops, which is gonna be rough. But if there are big six drops, Shang-Chi might be able to get the job done. Magneto grabs Killmonger. Actually, pretty good. I guess now it's Captain Marvel. We hope she goes mid, and then the Shang Chi that we drop. We hope that goes right. Shang Chi, I think we'll be fine. If he drops leader on turn six, it won't replicate. So our carnage is safe. I think we're okay. Doom. So. Gonna play something right. Shang Chi is gonna duplicate to mid. Demon is gonna duplicate to mid. If Demon goes mid, we have eight plus the three from Shang Chi. I think this is a win. I don't think it matters what he plays here. I think we're giving up right, as weird as that looks. Shang Chi and Demon copy. And then one of the Captain Marvels can fly middle to win mid. And Magneto's dead here. Odin, doesn't matter. Oh. Oh, it doesn't even need to fly. We Tied right. Victory. That was fun. That was a fun game. So Nova turn one. We'll go left. Mysterio gets hit. That's fine. We don't have a turn three play right now, so and we're not playing Mysterio into that anyway. That could be a good magic target. Could be a good Shang Chi target as well. We're obviously not gambiting here. We can't Mysterio here. So we're just passing another turn. Well, this is going great. And an Electro. All right, Killmonger's pretty good here. Maybe we don't play him yet. Looks like he's playing some sort of a zoo. In which case, let's. Be greedy and kill more stuff. Alright, so hold our magic. Let's go magic left. I don't think we're fighting for right. Uh, maybe. No. Let's go magic left. Right is good because if they don't play there, we can Shang-Chi the White Queen out of the way. All right, so they play double dino. We're gonna snap because Shang-Chi's coming down middle on last turn. And all we have to do is worry about winning this turn. So, Hood into Killmonger lets us play Shang-Chi and Demon next turn, which is pretty good. I like Hood Killmonger. Hopefully they don't storm here or something. 
That would lose us a game. That's fine. We have to hope that Demon is enough here to win. I think it's an okay gamble, but Demon Black Widow is enough. That's what we're hoping for. The other option is Shang-Chi and Gambit. To kill off something here, we go Shang-Chi here, Gambit here, that gives us eight. No, we'd have to kill off the arrow, but I don't like those odds. So, Fang Chi, Demon, Black Widow. Seems like an okay play. I guess other option is let go of mid, try to win right and mid. I don't like that. I think this is our only play. I think we have pretty good chances still to win. It's close though. They probably have 10 power to go left, but we'll see. That's probably more than 10 power. That's a lot more than 10 power. Yeah. Still not bad. I liked our chances there. Okay, cloning bats. I think we're just gonna, gonna throw a few hoods in there. That's an unfortunate discard, but the discarded Silver Surfer, so we're good there. Uh, I don't think Nova is a good play here. We'll just go hood demon. I think normally I would snap here, but I want to play this through. All right, so hood into carnage and we'll get a copy of a, what is that, 10 power carnage? Not bad. And we're revealing first, so no armor shenanigans. Turn four, we are looking to probably play the Naked Carnage somewhere. Drop Demon on Cloning Vats. Get a copy of them. We're gonna go Demon here. Nova mid. I guess we'll go Carnage middle. This guy's either multi or. All right, Mr. Negative. I don't think we're going to magic Mr. Negative. But we can, I think we're gonna Captain Marvel mid. We're gonna try to crossbones on mid and give Captain Marvel the chance to fly somewhere else. I'm afraid of like a Killmonger. He's playing Surfer, he's playing some three drops. Although it's a Mr. Negative deck, so maybe he's not playing Killmonger, but Mr. Negative has some swingy turn sixes that I don't want to deal with. This is where the swingy turn sixes happen. So we will cross bones mid. Let's demon 
right and left. I'm gonna guess like an Iron Man might be coming down here. Iron Man Mystique, I still think we're good. I don't know, I don't know enough about Mr. Negative decks. I never liked playing them, so I don't know what to typically run now with them, but I think we'll be fine. I assume he's gonna retreat. I don't see him coming up with this much power in all three locations, even if he had two really good draws after playing negative. He stayed. Darkhawk. Steve? I guess we were fine. He was just a little mad. Victory. So that's it for the games. I just wanted to show you guys a few games. I think I lost one of them that I even put in there. I've been playing this deck for a few days now. It's really fun. It plays different than a lot of decks that I've played before. So again, go check out Bootman's channel. He's putting out great content. And as usual, if you love all things Marvel Snap, you love video games, make sure you like and subscribe, hit the bell. See you in the next one.